Today we are making some easy DIY wedding favors with our Cricut machines. Hi, my name is Kelsey with Creative Fabrica and today I'm going to walk you through how to make some simple DIY wedding favors. We are going to make three different kinds of favors, one with vinyl, one with heat transfer vinyl, and one with sticker paper using print and cut. So if you're looking to DIY your wedding, let's get started on those favors. So for our tea bags, you're going to obviously need the tea bags themselves, and then you're going to need sticker paper and a printer for the print and cut. For your popcorn bags, or if you're doing like coffee or anything like that, you'll need your bag, some paper for the tags, you're going to need transfer tape and your vinyl. I'm using a light grip transfer tape. You'll need your weeding tool and a squeegee, as well as some scissors to cut your vinyl and your twine. So that's all you'll need for any sort of little give out that you're doing. And then the last one is going to be our koozie. So you'll need a blank koozie. I'm just using one in white, but you can use any color. You'll need your weeding tool, of course, some heat transfer vinyl, and I definitely suggest a Teflon sheet. And then you'll also need an iron, a mini press, or a heat press. And that's your materials and tools. So the first thing we're going to do is resize our files. So I'm going to just resize them all at once to a width of about two inches. Now the standard tea bag size is 2.5 by just about three inches high. So what I'm going to do is create stickers for them to just cover up the front of the tea bag. You can even cover up the back of the tea bag, whichever one you prefer. Um, or you could make like little custom bags to place your tea bags into, whichever one you want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a shape and I'm going to resize that to about two inches because I want it to just cover kind of the label. And I'm going to make it 2.75 in height. Now you're going to want to measure your own tea bags to make sure it's the right size for your tea. So now I'm going to change my little rectangle to white and I'm going to send it to the back up here at a range. And then I'm going to grab my SVG file. I'm just going to resize it down a little bit. And now I'm going to make a text box for the bottom that we're going to add to all three. And this is going to be our name and date of our wedding. So I'm going to put Kelsey and John, oop, and then I'm going to put the date. So October 1st, 2024. Okay. You can even type out October if you want it to look a little nicer. All right. And I'm going to keep it aligned the way it is with the center and I'm going to resize it down and I am going to change the font here. So I'm going to change it to chicken. This is one of my favorite fonts. Just going to make it a little bit smaller and I am going to grab everything. I'm going to align horizontally and I'm going to change this to black so that everything matches. But what you can actually do is you can change all this to your colors of your wedding. So I'm going to do like a fall forest kind of theme. And of course, if you have your hex code, you can just put that into the bottom, but I'm just going to go ahead and change this by eyeballing it. And now my color is going to be up top. So again, I'm just going to align to make sure it's good. And what I'm going to do is I am going to flatten that. And now we can cut this out as a sticker. So I'm going to do that with all three and they are in the colors of my wedding colors. And so now what I can do is I can go to make and it's great because they have three fit across. And so I can just apply up here a amount of project copies per page and we can fit nine per page, which is great. And so say you wanted to do three bags for each person You have, let's say 50 guests, you would hit 50 and then hit apply. It'll take a little bit longer depending on how much you want to do. And now what you would do is you would just print out all of your pages and they would make stickers. And what you would do is you would send to your printer. I like to use my system dialog and I like to change my printer options, the print settings to photo paper glossy. That way I get a quality print. And then what I do is I do, um, for my own sticker paper, I use the vinyl setting. I just find it cuts perfectly, but you'll want to test out your settings to see which ones work great for you. So let's go ahead and print and cut these and then we can label our tea bags. Let your 
Cricut machine read the registration lines and then allow it to cut everything out. And now obviously these are gonna go together pretty quickly. You're just going to take your little stickers and put them right onto your tea bags. So mine cut through fully and I am just peeling off the backing and sticking them right onto the bags. And these are probably some of the easiest DIY favors to give out. And I think that they're really nice because the person's definitely going to use them. So now we are going to make a tag with vinyl and paper. Now you could do this as a print and cut, or you can do this with a vinyl and paper, which I'm going to show you. And the only reason I'm doing this with vinyl is so that I can use a foil vinyl. So I am going to first start out with my shape. And on this one, I'm going to use an oval. I am going to rotate it so that it's long ways and I'm going to resize it so that it is about three inches high. So it's a relatively big tag. Now I'm going to resize this down. I'm going to make this white, my oval. I resize this down. I am going to send my oval to the back. I like the way that this is on here. I think it's gonna look really cute. And again, I'm gonna make this like a foil. Now this is all different pieces, so it's not one piece just for this SVG I am going to ungroup all of this real quick and then this I'm also going to ungroup if you ever have this happen um, it's a pretty easy fix I'm going to ungroup all of this and then I'm just going to slice the he into this bubble and delete it there perfect so I have that here and you can make these tags for anything so if you wanted to do coffee you could you know put something about coffee I'm just doing this because we're doing popcorn in our bags I just want to show you how to make tags um, and then there was one other thing I wanted to get rid of, and that is all these little dots. And the only reason I'm doing that is because those are gonna be really tiny on our tag, and I just think it's gonna be a little bit hard to cut. And that's it. So from here, I'm going to add on my name again. And you know what, for this one, I'm just gonna do the date. And so for this one, I'm going to use Handmade as my font. It actually looks so similar to the font that we have on our tag. I'm going to resize, or I'm going to change the line spacing here. Okay, and now I am going to resize this. I have no idea what's going on with my Cricut right now. Um, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And you can always add on your name or anything like that. I'm going to align everything center. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take my text and this whole SVG, the popped, not the circle in the back, just everything else. And I'm going to weld it. And so this is going to be all cut out in vinyl. It is sized properly. And then this I am going to do, just need to add a hole in so that we can make it into a tag. So I'm going to grab a circle. I'm going to place it down just a little bit so it doesn't tear. I'm just grabbing the circle and the oval. Again, I'm gonna align that to the center horizontally and I am going to slice those. And now I'm going to delete everything else. And now we have a little tag and we have our weld. And now I'm gonna hit make. So we have this being cut out in paper and this being cut out in vinyl. And so depending on how many people you will have at your wedding, you would just change your amount up here. So if you have 50 people, you'll hit 50. And of course you can rearrange this depending on your paper and then you would cut everything out. Now I am only going to do a few, I will do three and let's continue. And you can again, can do this for anything. Um, you can add any vinyl onto just the bag itself, but the tags are so cute, easy to make. And then you can fill them with, you know, anything that you can buy in bulk, which makes it a little more budget friendly if you need to make it budget friendly, which weddings get expensive. So it definitely helps. So I'm going to continue this. I'll cut out in medium cardstock and this I will cut out in the foil vinyl. So the first thing you will do is weed all of your vinyl. And now I'm using a low grip or like a less tacky, transfer tape and I'm using my little squeegee here and I'm going to transfer over my vinyl. And then you'll just peel back gently so that you don't rip your paper and I am ready to use this tag. I have my bag filled with my popcorn and I'm going to cut some twine. And again, you can fill these bags with anything. You can also use jars for this and tie the twine around the jar. And then you'll just add on your little tag 
and tie up your popcorn. You can even on the back make these your like seating chart and put the person's name on the back. So it's like an easy, ready to go favor as well as doubles as your place card. So a great idea on that end. And I love the way the foil looks on the paper. Great favor idea. We are going to make a super easy beer koozie. You can make these for your wedding party and you can definitely make these into a stencil and then do like a screen printing if you want to. However, I'm going to show you how to make it with HTV. So you'll just need a beer koozie and the HTV in any color, which is great so you can customize it to go with your wedding scheme. So my wedding koozie is four by four, so I'm going to make this 3.5 in width, which will give me an, a half an inch on both sides, and I love that. And honestly, this is all you have to do. So you could change the color if you want to. I am going to leave it as is. You're going to make it. This SVG is all over the place, so I'm gonna make sure that I go in and I weld if you have that happen. And now I'm just going to mirror it and have my machine cut this out with iron-on vinyl. So you can make a bunch of these. You can change your project copies up here just like we did with the other projects. Super easy to put together. So I am going to cut this out with everyday iron-on. You can, again, use this with any color that you want. Um, so it's a great, easy DIY wedding favor. And don't forget, you can always add on the name and date as well to the bottom of the SVG file if you wanna make it more personalized. So just like our last project, the first thing we are doing is weeding our vinyl. So you're gonna to wanna to go through and make sure everything is weeded out the way that you need it to be. And then from there, all you have to do is iron on your decal. So I am going to be using a Teflon sheet, which is basically just like a protective layer. You can also use parchment paper if you don't have a Teflon sheet. And I'm going to use my mini easy press on the low setting. You can probably bump it up to the medium setting, but of course that will depend on the vinyl that you're using. And I'm doing a light pressure for about 15 seconds all over my koozie. And then you're either going to want to cold peel or hot peel your vinyl, depending on what it suggests. And here is our little custom koozie. I loved making these DIY wedding favors. Thank you so much for joining me today as we made our DIY wedding favors. If you enjoyed this video and you came up with your favor, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for new crafts, and share this with one of your friends who is helping you DIY your wedding or DIYing their own. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.